Very Dark Man says he is done with Dami Crane's matter. Controversial social media activist Martin Vincent Osse, popularly known as Very Dark Man of VDM, has made a U-turn from supporting Oin Damala Johnson Emmanuel, aka Dami Crane in this case against Davido. VDM had earlier begged Davido to release the singer from prison and give him a second chance to which Davido allegedly did. Now VDM in a TikTok video is now stating that he was done with Dami Crane because he was not ready to apologize to Davido and admit that he was wrong. He also said that he begged Dami Crane for hours just to apologize to Davido. However, he insisted that he was going to write the apology, explaining that he wrote what Dami Crane was supposed to post, but the singer edited everything and left nothing useful in the post. In the video, Very Dark Man mentioned that Dami Crane said that if he apologized, his statement was going to indict him. VDM further stated that he called a police officer to come over since Dami Crane was not ready to apologize, so they can take him back to prison. And when the policeman came, Dami Crane was not remorseful about what he had done. He admitted that he does not have evidence against the video. The police officer also begged him to apologize, but he was adamant about it. In the recording, VDM thanked Davido for listening to him, stating that Davido was emotional when they were discussing Dami Crane on the phone. He further said that he will wait for the court verdict on the case and wish Dami Crane the best. All of this is coming after Dami Crane took to S to express regret for his actions on Friday, August 30. Dami Crane wrote, and I quote, I'm sorry about everything. To my fans, I hope I still have fans, LOL. To my fans, if I still have, I am sorry. Moving on, expect good music from me and music only. Hashtag love always leads. Apologizing to Nigerians and acknowledging the high expectations placed on him while admitting his mistakes, he wrote, and I quote, I want to apologize to Nigerians for the negative energy I have put up on the media before today. I know a lot was expected of me, but I messed up. I wish I could take back the hand of time, but only God can. So I will do what I can, which is to apologize, end of quote. He also added writing, and I quote, I'm starting a prison reform foundation for the legally detained, end of quote. Oh, wow. Hmm. I believe that Dami Crane is an adult. I believe that he knows what he's doing. Yep. If he edited it and he does not want to apologize, uh, well, I just want to believe that he knows what he's doing, and I'm just going to leave it at that. And I'm going to join VDM in wishing him the best, uh, of which somehow I just believe that VDM too. I, I think it's a Trojan gift of some sort. I don't think that um, his kindness is, I don't know, maybe something is just making me feel like that kindness is not wholesome or something like yeah, there something is something to it. it. I don't know why I feel this way. But, well, let's just keep our fingers crossed and our eyes peeled. Well, if what VDM said is true, that um, Ukraine has no evidence and is still going to pursue this and this is still going on, well, I just wish him the very best. That's all I'm going to say. Adele announces in for definite a break from music. English singer Adele has come out to state that she is taking a long break from music after her Las Vegas residency ends. In a TikTok clip from one of her performances in Munich, Germany, she said, I have 10 shows to do, but after that, I will not see you for an incredibly long time and I will hold you dear in my heart. This statement has now led to speculation that Adele is taking time away from her career to get married to her fiance, Rich Paul, as she confirmed her engagement to the sports agent at one of her earlier Munich shows last month. If you would recall, back in July 2024, she first shared news about her break from music saying, I don't have any plans for new music at all. I want a big break after this, and I think I want to do other creative things just for a little while. Adele began our Vegas residency at a Colosseum at Caesar Palace in November 2022, and her final show is scheduled for November. 23rd. Wow, 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 wow. Well, we've uh, we've known about this since Adele first stated it in July. Yeah. But now confirming it that after this year she's taking a break. I feel like it's a break long deserved because these people are always grinding back to back. That's right. And especially this year, we've seen a lot of celebrities break down just because they didn't take the much needed break or they didn't pay attention to their health. So this break is actually needed, and I hope our fans are very understanding to know that she needs some TLC, you know, tender loving care, even though there are rumors that this break is to get married. But it's nobody's business. Let her just stay happy so she can come back to give us great music. Right. Yes, I totally agree with you, Catherine. And, of course, that's all we can take on the entertainment news.
we were out and about this weekend for the premiere of the Nitrogen movie titled The Weekend. So let's see what went down after which we'll be back with Social View. My name is Bucci Franklin, and I play the character Luke on The Weekend. The Weekend. This type of story hasn't been told. Uh, we created a fictional universe. You know, we created a universe. We um, created a language. We created a culture, you know, and it was a beautiful experience creating look in my head. I play Nikia in The Weekend. Uh, we're here for the premiere of uh, The Weekend, and I'm super excited to uh, meet people and have them watch our film. Uh, making the film was very, was very interesting. I loved spending time with the actors who I played alongside. I'd always wanted to work with the production company and the director. I remember and when I was just about to be killed, and the sequence was a very long sequence where I was expected to fight and then eventually killed. So I look forward to the scene, but the director wanted it in a more dramatic way. And um, it turned out more dramatic. I play the man of substance. I came with a lot of substantial stuff. Um, filming in the weekend was just a fantastic um, experience. So I opted to do a rewrite, regardless of the short time frame we had. And uh, fortunately, I got that opportunity. Um, we were able to go back to the original script, because like I said, the film had been in development for a while. So we went to the first draft, which was a good foundation to start with. And then uh, we built a story around a very simple dynamics. Young couple go for, a, go for a weekend to see the parents. And you know, secrets are unveiled and all that. When I got the script, I was really blown away because, man, okay, we've never told this kind of story before in Nigeria. It's a well written, beautiful script. I had a good time reading it. I was howling all over my house when I read it. Got on set and I met Daniel Oriahi, who is the director. Phenomenal guy, eclectic. You know, I loved it. Of course, get to meet amazing stars James Gardner, uh, Uzo Makabuchi, Franklin, Penyon, Gloria Young. I mean, just a phenomenal cast. And we told this story. I am a friend of the house of Chuno Studios. But apart from that, I have seen the trailer of this film and it looks absolutely fantastic. So that's why I'm here. Very excited to watch it. The most challenging process, you know, I'll say writer's block, fear. Fear actually is the most challenging process. It can, um, a challenging part of the process. It can slow you down and it can make you, it makes you, sell, it makes you doubt yourself. And um, the only way through it is you write through it. You must write through it. Whenever you're making a film, you're developing a, a script, a story, your, your first concern is what kind of story do you want to tell? Um, you know, what kind of characters do you want to create? You know, um, and then for us, we, we had a concept where that was inspired. And we were, weren't sure when we were going to make this film. But when we finally uh, got to the point where we wanted to make the film, uh, it was uh, really just putting the right team together. Uh, you know, um, and um, finding the right director that you know that shared the same vision the studio had, and you know the rest is uh, just history. At least one message that we are sending that as much as family is a beautiful thing, they could also be your downfall. <laughs> family is everything, but at the end of the day, when you're done watching this movie, you're going to be asking yourself some really intricate questions like, is family really worth? I play the character of Vigilante in The Weeknd, one of the guys faced with the challenge, the task of, of um, ensuring that the borders of Kwasa Republic uh, are safe. And um, it was quite a smooth experience, you know, with the beautiful, amazing actors that we had on sets, the crew members. It was like a symbiotic relationship because everybody was just working to, you know, to help each other achieve something solid at the end of the day. And I'm, I'm glad that finally this is out for people to experience the magic that was created, especially with love. I would say, it, it, as much as I like to keep an open book when I, you know, go to see a movie, uh, I, I have high expectations and um, I expect nothing but good stuff. <laughs> Weekend.
Thank you so much, producer. Thank you, Derek. Thank you, Zamaka, Gabriela, Brutus, James Gardner. Of course, my father, Saki, thanks to my mom, my sister, Mega Tower. Thank you, everybody on this production. God bless you guys. God bless you. I say welcome to Socialville, where we're going to delve into the world of social media, which is loaded with every kind of weight and nastiness you can imagine. Shmoney, are you ready? Of course. Okay, uh, see, you people are coming for my guy, Ashake. All of them, Ashake. At Mbade for you says, see, person will tell us, say, you're active. And this brings us back to the news we took today, Adele taking a break. Sometimes even the most active people need to rest. Of course. Because they need to recharge. Don't mind them. Uh-uh. Well, Ashake has been giving me on TikTok back, back to, to back. back. So if you like, him as somebody that he's been working. So if he wants to rest, he should rest. Are you joking? That body of work is fantastic. Especially that Fuji extravaganza. See, Ashake, So it's, it's the Fuji for me. So if he says he's active, I stand with hey. He's very active. <laughs> Let's move on. And this one is by at Katia Ken, who says, these kids, hmm, Gen Z, these kids don't even believe an orange seed can grow in them when they swallow it anymore. This one just told me the stomach has no soil and sunlight. What happened to the culture? <laughs> mm. So you know when, you, when, when we're young, I, when we are taking I think I fruits, like it and yeah. I don't like it. So I understand what you're ah, saying. I think I like annoying. it and I don't like it. I think, you know that vulnerability that, you know, you can just be vulnerable and you can just be innocent as a child. So this one that everybody is now wise. So you are thinking, which one would you prefer at the end of the day? When they know everything that hmm. you cannot even, you know, do small play and say... And, and, it's, and it's the fact that when we went through it, they told us if you swallow the seed, it's growing and you believe you won't want to swallow the seed. But at the end of the day, you want your child to be smart. But now they are proving to be too smart. So there is something in that thing of just being vulnerable. You're just sweet. You're just innocent. Yes. You're just like a child as a child should be. Very right cute. Now, I'm not sure that children are children anymore. They longer. will question you. You think you're in the court of law. <laughs> Moving on, this is a wedding invite. And this person says, so about the wedding cards I gave out four months ago. Kindly erase Alice and put Ruth. Same day, same venue. And obviously, same Ashebi and same colors. No, so money will not waste. Some people to do. Money, but at the end of the day, money will not waste. Because you spent so much money. Because let's just move on. As <laughs> apropos underscore doctor says, there is no single benefit of alcohol to your body. And at Eme Kano says, it's not for the body. Now why they call them spirits? Anyway, but every alcohol is not spirits. You have mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Yeah, so you cannot say that's why they, you cannot generalize, you exactly. know. So I understand what Afroco Doctor is saying. I like the fact that these days people have just been talking about alcohol, smoking, mm -hmm. and all of these things. Um, yeah, it's good. Well done, Afroco Doctor, on the work you do. All right, still on Socialville, this last one, that HR babe says, Gen Z's will forever make me laugh. Me, I'm asking. What do you know about our company? And then the Gen Z applicant laughs first. Ha, ha, ha. Says, I don't know anything about you guys. So tell me, what do you guys do? And then me, I'm like, egg by me. So why are you applying? I really believe that some humans can be can like do this. it, yes. I said, these Gen Zs, they will try you. They will try you. And the fact is that these days, I think that people are acclimatizing to it. They are getting yeah. to know them. Yep. They don't come as, you know, they don't take them... They, they take them, like, they, they just believe that. They just hear them and they do whatever thing they want. Is yep. that how you want it? Okay, don't worry, yep. we'll go that route. And I wonder why. Because now they know how to handle them. It's before they just give themselves a dig. Before, if you listen to Gen Z and you go and say, ah, 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 my dear, you wound yourself. But these days, people already have response for them in Kula. <laughs> so when they say this one, the response is there, especially the ones that will resign and say, hello, sir, I'm done working with you. Warm regards. Some will even put warm regards. Like, is that how to write application letter or resignation? At the end of the day, I wish you all the best and keep doing what makes you happy. Warm regards. <laughs> it's a wrap on social view, guys. It is a wrap. And coming up next, you guys need to stay tuned because we're going on a break. When we get back, the entertainment does continue, guys. <laughs> all right, welcome back, guys.
guys, you know we've always got your back with everything movie-related on Tuesdays, yeah? So if you're heading to the movies this week, keep it glued because it is time for Movies at the Movies! In Nollywood, Force Empire, Disappear Umfong is resolute in unmasking the perpetrator who raped and humiliated a protege, ASP Alima, now traumatized and fearful. Despite fierce resistance from the top brass, she's determined to expose him and other corrupt officers tarnishing the force's reputation. Actors include Richard Moffat Damijo, Shagwan Rinze, Nse Ikwe Etim, Mercy Aigbe, Ewongo Abasi Ibom, Kunle Koka, Tony Umez, amongst others. Oh, wow. Nice, nice. <laughs> All right, in Hollywood, blink twice. When tech billionaire Slater King meets cocktail waitress Frida at his fundraising gala, he invites her to join him and his friends in a dream vacation on his private island. As strange things start to happen, Frida questions our reality. Actors include Naomi Ake, Kenny Tatum, Chani Tatum, Tatum, right there. Yeah. We've got um, Alia Shokas. Alia Shokas. We've got Simon uh, Rex, Richard Adria Anjona, Harley Joel, uh, amongst oh. others. Wow, I would love to see that one. <laughs> oh, yes. And, well, this is where we draw the curtains on the show today. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. I've done this with uh, Lady Kath, and my name is Honey Potts. We apologize that our guests could not, you know, uh, come on the show as we promised so when we started. And we apologize for starting late. We had technical issues yep. that was beyond our control. We sincerely apologize. All right, enjoy the rest of today, and we'll be back better and bigger tomorrow. Thank you.